is most of the transactions that we work on as, as investors are on market deals. Building owner may be interested in selling their property and they'll typically just call their preferred broker and just list it with them. From there, the broker will create a marketing package and push it out to their email list and post on certain websites as well. And in today's competitive market, there's usually a bidding war before it gets awarded to the highest bidder. While this is the principal way deals are getting done, buyers are often looking to do an off-market deal. This is usually done when the seller tries to sell it on their own through a personal network or they respond to a buyer asking them if they want to sell or not. If you're looking to expand your portfolio with quality multifamily apartments, part of your time should be spent trying to land these off-market deals. Doing so will usually prevent you from overpaying on a deal. It also gets the deal closed quicker, quicker for the seller, all at a reasonable price. You know, it's, it's clean and it's very easy. If the seller thinks that they can get a higher price by listing an apartment with a broker, one would think they wouldn't want to do an off-market deal. But it makes sense for a seller to go direct, especially in a competitive market. These are the three benefits to the seller if they go direct. Okay, so number one, quicker closing. When a seller is looking to unload their property, don't assume the price is, only, is the only motivation. If the seller has back taxes or they're behind to their mortgage payments or they're having some sort of management issue, or maybe they have some other type of major distress, they just want to get out of that property as quickly as possible. You know, even if they're not having any problems, they'll be looking to roll that cash maybe into another deal or some other project, right? If a seller lists a property with a broker, that broker needs to create the marketing materials. They got to go and create, you know, get the photos, write a comp, comp report, uh, detailing the, the benefits of the property and detailing the area as well. They got to perform all their research. It, it's just that just takes weeks alone, right? You know, additionally, if the contract is awarded to a buyer who backs out months after tying it up, it adds additional stress to the, dealer, the seller situation. Now, rather than waiting on the broker to complete all the marketing materials and avoiding all the tire kickers, an owner can just sell the off-market deal to a qualified buyer. You know, they, they can just forward the T12, the rent rolls, uh, any, any other underwriting material. They need to just get it underwritten quickly and then expedite the whole process in the same time period. Number two, more profit. If the seller decides to sell the property directly to that buyer, they get a healthy cost savings in terms of uh, broker commission and any other type of marketing costs associated with the listing, you know, depending on the size of the deal, of course. You know. In a typical real estate transaction, the seller may be responsible for paying the broker's fee. And the listing broker fee can range anywhere from like 2% to 6% on, on the sale price. So say you had a $4 million deal, that could be as low as $80,000 or $240,000 of the fee. So it's not chump change. It's also worth noting that the broker would welcome a bidding war because it only adds on to their commission, you know, and it adds time to the close as well. So doing an off-market deal, though, the seller will save a great deal of time and, and cash uh, as well. So that's another compelling reason. And number three, three, simplify the transaction. When you sell direct, it simplifies the overall transaction. Now, as I mentioned earlier, not all sellers are motivated by getting the highest offer. They just want to get a quick and easy transaction. So for the seller, this includes not only the, you know, the property tours and the open houses and scheduling time with vendors and bothering tenants. You know, all that stuff goes away. They don't need to entertain dozens of prospective buyers or you know, even people that aren't even serious. You know? It also quells the rumors of a sale with the tenants as well and keep them from jumping ship. So you know, for, for the seller, dealing with one buyer simplifies the whole thing. You know, it all works out well for the buyer because you know first they get to save money as there's no bidding war right secondly they get to maybe have some creative financing options and maybe even save money on taxes as well and third they the transaction gets done quicker you know because there's no broker in the way of course this is all dependent on the owner's inclination to sell like most things it needs to come down to how it will benefit them you know if you can convey the reasons as to why they should sell to you then you're going to succeed in adding those types of assets to your portfolio. Uh, me personally, I'm always looking to do off-market deals. If you're looking to sell a building, reach out to me on Facebook. I'm probably the best way to, to get me. So have you done any large off-market deals? Uh, how'd you persuade them to sell to you? Let me know in the comments. Love to hear from you. Hope you have a good one, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.